relegate, abdicate, or delegate. That's my topic for you today. It comes from reflecting on why is it that leaders find it so difficult to ask for help or seek help. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of delegating that comes somewhat intuitively after we've practiced what it is to actually get to the level of letting go some of the tasks. By the way, side note, if you are struggling with delegating, there's a few levels that one has to go through. How do you delegate what you do at a technical level if you're a health professional? How do you delegate uh, what you do at an operational and management level if you're leading others? And then on to how do you actually delegate some of the things that in the leadership space that is starting to hold you back? I recently hired a personal assistant into my business and it's a little bit different. I have had personal assistants before and most of the time my personal assistants were only assisting me in the professional space. But for the first time, I've actually hired someone who is managing the personal diary, my professional diary, my work diary integrated in one space. It took me a long time to be able to be able to accept this because for a long time, I just felt that that was like relegating responsibility or worst, making someone do the things that I don't want to do. And so actually relegating someone to be like a servant to me. So this is the first thing that I want to chat with you about. Is it relegating when you actually assign tasks to someone else to do? One of the things that I've discovered since I've actually done this is actually how freeing it is. And also just how much is actually on my plate on a daily basis. And here's the thing. Not only does your business grow and get more complicated and therefore the issues that you deal with in terms of your team, but as your season of life develops, other things get complicated as well. I've got kids, my dog is getting older, and my husband has new interests and new commitments. Our social life, uh, the things that we do on the weekend, the things that really matter to us, parents, they they also grow in their complexity and in their scale. And I come back very often when I'm talking about uh, burning out as a leader to the competition and the demand that comes to our focus. And when we're at the level that we're at and we're serving and we're giving and we're leading, very few people can actually enter the space of helping us focus other than to take some of the things off of our plate that we are focusing on. So health is a really important thing in our family. We had a couple of significant health scares in the last few years. And so health has become something that is top of mind. In order to facilitate the health needs and the health focus of all of the members of our family, I need help because I feel like I am trading focus from the thing that is so important for me in my family, which is focusing on their health with focusing on the health of other people's lives. And now at the level for which the work that I do, it's focusing on other business owners' health, other private practice owners' health, the health of their, themselves, their family and their team. And what I've discovered is the ability to actually reflect deeply on, as an example, the health needs of our family and ask for help from my personal assistant to say, can you help me figure out the next steps? How do we make this happen? In that space, when I'm being able to give away some of the things that are on my focus to say, help me, I know that there is someone else who is actually going to make that a focus. So here's the first thing I want to say. Is it relegating? I think you relegate someone, you, 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 you make someone 
at that lower level when your mindset is, it's not important to me, I'm just gonna fling it to someone else who's not important to me either. In this instance, what I'm saying is, this is really important to me, would you please help me? It's actually quite an honoring position to say, I need help, I trust you to help me, tell me what you think, and I will consider that as a significant contribution to uh, to my life, to my world, by taking on what you focused on and taking your input. I often say to my clients and to friends and family, being able to ask someone for help is an incredibly honored situation. We ask the people that we trust and we ask the people that we're growing to incorporate and let into our lives and into our world by asking for help. How about abdicating? One of the most common scenarios that I see in the leadership space is thinking that we're delegating when we're actually abdicating. Abdicating basically to me means that there's a situation that you've been watching over or managing or overseeing and without any kind of scaffolding, training, structure, a shadowing, chunking things down, we just throw it to the person so that they now have to run with it. And here's the thing, we not only abdicate our responsibility, in other words, the thing may not get done or the thing may not get done as well as we as we want it to be, but we also abdicate our leadership role because that's not setting people up for success. My number one tip when you are starting the delegation role and you're starting to give people things is to use shadowing. Make sure that someone is shadowing you as you are doing it. Let them ask the questions that they need to ask. Welcome their insight in terms of where the gaps they might see and then do it together until the point where you're starting to then let go of bits and pieces of the task, the role that you want them to do. My third thing that I want to say is true delegating is not just about deleting the things off of our load. True delegating is understanding what you do, what role and what function it serves, the degree of responsibility that that comes with, and chunking that down into categories and tasks and behaviors and deliverables so that the people that you're delegating to understand what they're doing, why they're doing it, what the behaviors that need to happen uh, that need to take place and how they know that they're actually heading in the right direction. Relegating, abdicating, delegating, make sure that you are delegating and that you are able to lighten the load for yourself so that you focus on the things that only you can focus on and you invest the energy in the things that only you can invest energy in. And when you delegate some of those other things out to other people, don't expect that it will stay the same way. Instead, expect that they will then take that, invest their time, effort, and focus in it, improve it, and often what I've found is turn straw into gold. Take care.